Be like, hi guys, happy Saturday. So we have our first Christmas and so I need to get a project done really quick so that we can go to the first Christmas. And today we had um, the shop open and I'm open tomorrow one to four and I don't think we're gonna get any snow until later in the day. So you should be um, good to go, go to church, come to the shop afterwards. Um, so what we're going to make today is a paper stack tree. And I picked this again because it has, um, includes things that I have. And I used to be really into scrapbooking and we're gonna say for like a couple of years when I lived in Kansas City. So one thing that you could do if you wanted to, hi Tammy, is use some decorative scissors to cut your paper. I chose not to do that. I just chose to make um, straight cuts. And so what I did was I went and got out of my scrapbook stash um, some green paper. And it was just, um, you know, it's, I don't know if you call it cardstock, but it's, it's thicker than like a printer paper. And I just got the three colors of green that I had on hand. And then I cut them into strips and I use this cutter that I think you can just barely see at the bottom of the screen and um, cut everything into, or each color into strips and then um, went back and cut them into squares. So I have lots of square um, pieces sitting here. And then after I cut the um, piece into a square, then, um, and I felt like I had enough, I tried to kind of cut 20. So 10 for the tree that I did as a practice round and 10 um, to go on the tree that I'm gonna make with you guys. So I cut those squares and then I didn't use all of my strips, but I needed more sizes of um, paper. And so I went and I cut this strip in half and then cut it into squares and piled that up. So I have two sizes of each color of green. And then I made sure that I had at least 10 of each um, size. And so basically here, I'll, I had it all laid out. This was kind of helping me get my pattern. So I have, you know, different sizes in an order in a repeating pattern of the squares that I'm gonna use for the tree. So um, the, when I did the practice tree, I think I did 10 squares for most of them and then I did ended up doing six towards the top because I was running out of space so I would probably say or maybe I did eight I should have wrote that down I forgot even though I literally just did it um so we're gonna do eight um and I'm going to put them a little bit closer together but you want there to be space between them because that's what makes it look good and all I did was I had a few receipt holders left at the shop so I grabbed a couple of those. Um, if you don't have a receipt holder, holder like this, um, this one's vintage, but you can buy them new. And um, I've already drafted up my blo blog post and I put a link for some new ones on there. And then the other thing you could do is just take those wooden skewers um, that you can use when you're grilling and you could shove those down or hot glue those into some styrofoam or put it in a pot or do like um, when I put that evergreen tree in the tobacco tin, you could do a, you know something like that. That's probably way too big, but you could do something like that. And then when you cut your paper, you would just cut your paper into bigger um, squares. You can use book sheets, music paper. Um, I thought and I grabbed some um, maps that I had um, cut into strips a long time ago. These are brown, but I thought there were some green ones in here. So, you know, you could do um, a road map and cut it up into um, squares, pretty much anything, cookbook pages, anything. So the reason that I like this um, cutter, and I, did, I am linking it in my blog post, um, that it just makes it so quick and the lines are straight. So I'm just lining it up here. I think you can see at the bottom of your screen um, here at this little six and I'm cutting it and now I have a square piece. And so then I can just slide it over to the six again and it's lined up to the bottom and you just slide it and you cut another one. And so that's what I did um, this morning when I was prepping for this 
is I just got all of my um, paper ready. And like I said, um, probably just plan on about 10 uh, squares per section of your tree. And then I ended up going with seven different sizes. So it was just by chance that this um, receipt holder happens to be um, green. <clears throat> and at first I really didn't think these greens even kind of color coordinated, even though they were in the same pack of paper. But um, when I put them together, I decided that I liked them. So I am just eyeballing um, the center of the square, and then I am just stabbing it and threading it on there. And you do want um, to leave some space in between the papers because it just looks good that way. And then I um, just put them down there any which way they went. I wasn't very strategic about um, how I angled the squares, like which direction they were um, turning or whatever. Wasn't trying to do a pattern, I just stabbed them on there. And before, I should have been counting. That's six. So we're gonna do eight a thing. Before I said I kind of ran out of room, and so what I did was I came back down here and I slid all of them down just with my finger um, to give myself some more room on the receipt holder, um, but yet have space between them. So I think that was eight. So I'm gonna lay out eight or I will lose count four, five, six, seven, eight. So if you stab them and then you decide that you have to rearrange them or something and then your hole on your paper starts getting too big and all of your papers are sliding all the way down the receipt holder, you could put a dollop of glue or something um, on the paper to kind of hold it in place because like I said, you do want some gaps to it. You don't want it to all actually fall, you know, you don't want it to be like hole punched and falling down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But I think if you did a bunch of these trees, you could do them with the same colors or you could do different colors. But then if you put them all together on a display, like change the height of some, some of them with cutting boards or books or cake stands or something and make, made a little like forest is what I'm trying to say. I think that would look super cute. And I always feel like receipt holders are, I think that's four, five, six, I better count out loud or I'll forget seven, eight, um, are always dangerous because like this, I always feel like someone could lean down and stab themselves. I don't know. It seems like a, a dangerous apparatus. So saying that, I feel like it's a kid project my, minus the sharp edge. So maybe with supervision, you could do one of these. And then in my kids craft supply, they have had some star stickers. So I didn't grab that um, for my other one. But I think that that would look really cute on the top. I think this one is either longer or I'm pushing them down more because I feel like I'm gonna have too much space this time. So then I could work them, work them back up if I needed to. And I could also add more So I'm gonna add another one that size just to help. 
So we'll get nine of these. Three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine. So we'll do nine of those. So you love the music sheet idea? Oh yeah. Or book pages. And I mean, really the nice thing about doing a map or even pa just plain paper is uh, you can pick whatever color scheme you like. And if you cut the edges with some of the scrapbook scissors, that would totally change the look of the Christmas tree, but I still think it would look really cute. And guys, when I was buying some <laughs> craft supplies, I ended up buying some red and white ribbon that does not have wire in it. Two, three, six, seven, eight, nine. So that I can um, make another candy cane or candy ribbon wreath. probably the right way in a much quicker um, way than the other one I did. I mean, that other one I did, I think it ended up being like a 48 minute video. I'm gonna push these down a little bit, I think. And I mean, it should not have been that long. So you do want your papers to be every which way. And since I was trying to slide it, I moved all those around. But I need a little bit of tip on the top so I can do the stars. So I don't even know why we have these stars or these stickers, but there, is, there were two sheets and there's only one yellow star on each one but I wanted to sandwich them together on the pin. So we're going to put a point on the point. And then I'm sure you could find something that would go well with this if you didn't have stickers in your stash, but, and I feel like I got the shakes. So I didn't get it lined up perfectly, but pretty close. Okay, so hopefully you can see that. That's the one that I just did. Probably need to spread out some papers a little bit. Here's the one, the practiced one that I did. So very similar, just different style of base. Used about the same amount of paper and they just turned out super cute. Add a little star to this one and so easy. So if you make one of these with music sheets or book pages or a map or anything, um, send me the picture or tag me in it if you post it on social media. I'd love to see it. Have a good night, guys.